Hi everyone, uh, today I'm uh, doing a detailed review and tear down of the Snoco Genuine Boost um, jump starter and the charger. Um, I did a brief review on, um, on this and, previous, and another video which I go through a few portable chargers. Uh, I have, I'll have put the link below. But today I'm gonna open this up and go through the details, see what's inside and the design. Now, before I go to detailed review, what I want to say about the Noco brand is the customer service is phenomenal, it's exceptional. And I say that because I bought a GB40 and uh, I tried to not jump start a car and it didn't work and I went through the, um, there is a bypass function and that's what it is. You go through, you press this button and it goes through bypass. I did that and basically um, it's, it tried to start a car but it failed and basically it didn't work anymore. So when I contact the customer service, they, because I was international at the time, I was in the US, they just asked me to cut the cables and take a photo and they, would, they, they said they will post a new one to me and they did. So this is the broken one, uh, it doesn't work, I just want to see what's inside the design and also one thing that they haven't uh, uh, specified in their specification is the battery capacity is inside here. It says it has a thousand amp capacity and seven thousand joules but it doesn't say what's the battery capacity inside here. Alright, without further ado, I already opened this. Um, uh, the, the screws are like a triangle head. So you need a special uh, drive bits to open it. I opened it. Six on the back. Um, and this is the IP65 rated. Um, you have to open these. Let's try to... Okay. So that's what you see. But before we go through this, looking at uh, the case, you see all the screws and all around it there is a rubber uh, sealing. That means uh, okay, the proper IP rating, it's you know, they're complying. So far the design looks good. Looking at the main um, the battery, which is the main, I would say, the, the weight. Um, it's, it says a Noco brand Element X10 and it's rated 11.1 volt, 2150 milliamp lithium ion battery. Okay, let's see what have we got inside. It's pretty heavy and there are, I think, like three batteries like stacked together here. Now, it's, uh, it's so I'm gonna try to unplug it. Okay, so so the battery, there are two big gauge cables are coming out, negative and positive, and also there are these two. I'm guessing one of them, I mean, they're all sensors, and um, one could be the uh, uh, for the temperature. And I'm not sure about the other. Um, let's have a look at the other secretaries here. Uh -huh. Nice, that was a nice design. So these are the plugs that go straight in here, and you um, put your uh, alligator clips, the plugs to these ends. Nice design. We got a big ass relay here, um, 70 amp rated. 14 volt DC and it has a 12 volt coil so um, looking at these uh, it looks like a bridge uh, um, or mostly I need to look up the um, data sheet it's um, PFC RFP 40L450 Put more details about that um, so that's just straight from the battery and that's I think what controls uh, the uh, uh, from the smart side to here so this smart beat tells the relay to connect the battery or not 
Now, going, we look, we're going to look at this later on. The LEDs are here, two um, SMD LEDs. They're quite big because they are strong there. This comes out easily. Well, wow. that's nice, nice layout. Bit of uh, afterthought here. This cable jump, um, and these are the three buttons. Um, all right. So looking closer to the um, the main board, uh, starting from this side, the, um, that's the micro USB input. That's where you charge it, the unit. Um, you got a filter capacitor there, and there is a um, boost converter, DC to DC boost converter here, with a big inductor, and um, you need a boost converter because your the cell in in this uh, unit is a 11, 12 volt cell. So you, that's for that and for charging your units um, uh, there should be a buck converter there um, they also let's turn it around that's the um, analog digital converter and also microcontroller and basically that's all most of the smarts happens here um, the, the design of the secretary is very good it's very nice um, and as you can see on uh, on your right here, they also um, got some space for future development or other models, maybe GB70. Um, so that looks very nice and neat, except this, which is not a big deal. Um, probably they found out during uh, testing they need to add this. Um, going back to this uh, the battery relay controller. So in this board, um, there are four uh, power rectifiers, and each of them are 40 amp, and they're all connected in uh, parallel. So four, it's 160 amp. Um, so um, you might think, you know, this is 160 amp. You might think this 160 amp. How do we get up to 1,000 amp? Because it's designed to do a short burst. Uh, for a short period of time, it probably can handle up to that level for a short period of time. Now, now this unit doesn't work anymore because when you connect, you charge, it doesn't charge anymore. I'm guessing it's some, something's wrong in here because there are also secretaries here and they're usually protections at the battery level. So um, we can test that out and see if we can fix it. But other than that, um, um, I would say the overall design is very good. You know how you have all these uh, modular and all these sockets, how you can connect it. Uh, they didn't just solder it and budge it in. That's a good design. And looking at the, the case, again, IP65 rated, and that's where the LED sits. You know, they um, isolated each LED, so you, get, you don't get the lights you know, diffused or to the other holes that's good you know it's little details matters here um, and also I had a chat with the customer service a few times about these units and the, um, with these small uh, jump starters the issue is you know sometimes you get your battery maybe uh, five six volt uh, and it's a bit um, it's a bit of uh, pressure I would say on these units to start your car at that level. Looking at the um, manual, this one uh, it says it has a sensor if the battery voltage is 2 volt, uh, it won't start. So in this sort of situation you have to go through um, um, basically bypass. And the custom, custom service told me it's absolutely fine to go to bypass uh, for, for the cars that you know. Uh, the battery level is very low and you do that. Having said that, some batteries, um, if they are very low or the resistance is, uh, the battery voltage is low and the resistance is very low as well, you have some of the cells are, you know, messed up. If you do that, it's possible that it draws too much current from the engine and also from the battery. And I think that's what happened to this unit. Uh, again, it's, it should be still covered under warranty. Uh, and if that happens to you, but other than that, um, 
this should work and um, they gave me another new one that that works um, and uh, yeah if you have any comments or any uh, experience with these units let me know let me know what you think and um, thanks for watching make sure you subscribe